John chapter 2 in English on the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee the mother of Jesus was there and both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding <coughs> and when they ran out of wine the mother of Jesus said to him they have no wine Jesus said to her woman what does your concern have to do with me my hour has not yet come his mother said to the servant whatever he says to you do it <clears throat> and there was set there five water pots of stone according to the manner of a purification of the Jews containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece Jesus said to them fill the water pots with water they filled them up to the brim and he said to them draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast and they took it when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and didn't know where it came from the master of the feast the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him every man at the beginning sets out the good wine when the guests have well drunk then the inferior you have kept the good wine until now this beginning of the signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory his disciples believed in him after this he went down to keep her now he his mother his brothers and his his disciples and they didn't stay there many days now the passover of the jews was at hand and he went up to jerusalem and he found in the and he found in the temple those who sold the oxen and the sheep and doves and the money changers doing business when he had made a whip of cords he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers money and overturned the tables and said to those who sold the doves take take these things away don't make my father's house a house of merchandise a house of merchandise <clears throat> his disciples remembered that it was written zeal for your house has eaten me up so the jews answered and said what sign do you show to us since you do these things mm -hmm. Jesus said to them, destroy this temple. In three days, I will raise it up. They said to him, it has taken 46 years. It has taken 46 years to build this temple. Will you raise it up in three days? Will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs Jesus did. Mm -hmm. But he didn't commit himself to them because he knew all men and had no need that anyone should testify of man for he knew what was in man. Hallelujah. 네, 요한복음 2장 영어로 암송해서 인증했습니다. 하나님께서 하나님 사랑의 방법을 
정확하게 신명기 6장 4절에서 9절 여호수아 1장 8절에서 명령하여 주셨습니다. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. 요한복음 1장 1절은 말하죠. 하나님은 말씀이십니다. 하나님 사랑은 말씀 사랑입니다. 근데 말씀 사랑이 정확해야 됩니다. 네, 여러 말씀 사랑의 모습들이 있는데요. 아, 가장 중요한 것은 음, 하나님의 영이 수면 위에 운행하셨고 가라사대 소리로 선포하시면서 빛이 있으라 빛을 창조하셨습니다. 그리고 예수님께서 마귀를 물리쳐 이기실 때 기록됐을 때 가시면서 기록된 성경을 선포하셨습니다. 사람의 빵으로만 살 것이 아니오 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 모든 말씀으로 살 것이니라. 그래서 어, 성령의 감동을 입은 사람들이 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 모든 말씀을 받아 적은 것이 성경 말씀이고요. 이 성경 글씨를 우리의 입으로부터 선포하며 소리로 선포할 때에 하나님의 그 얼굴을 대면하는 것이며 하나님의 입술과 마주 이렇게 입술과 입술이 마주 되어 있는 것입니다. 할렐루야. 그래서 신명 6장 4절에서 9절에 들으라 이스라엘아 주 너의 하나님은 유일한 여호와시라 마음과 뜻과 힘을 다해 사랑하라 사랑하라는 사랑하라는 그 방법으로 말씀을 새기라 앉아 있을 때나 길을 걸어갈 때나 낮 시간이죠 누워 있을 때나 일어날 때나 밤 시간이죠 주 야로 한 번씩이 아니라 계속해서 말씀을 선포하라는 것입니다 이것을 여호사 1장 8절에서 요약하셨습니다 율법 책에 기록된 대로 입에서 떠나지 않게 묵상이란 단어는 히브리어로 하가 정확한 번역은 소리를 내다 입니다 잠잠히 생각한다는 번역은 잘못된 번역이죠 네 그리고 지켜 행하라 히브리어로 샤마르의 나사 샤마르는 간직사수 보존의 의미입니다 즉 신명기 6장의 색이라 라는 의미가 이 어, 샤마르로 더 확정되어진 것이죠 그리고 행하라 또 다른 단어입니다 아싸 라는 히브리어인데 이게 순종입니다 즉 율법책에 기록된 대로 입에서 떠나지 않게 소리를 내어 계속 하가 선포할 때에 샤마하르 간직되어져서 순종의 열매가 맺혀진다는 것이지요. 할렐루야. 아무쪼록 하나님 사랑, 말씀 사랑, 말씀 선포 모습으로 주님을 찬양하시는 여러분 되시기를 예수님의 이름으로 축복합니다. 할렐루야. 요한복음 3장 인증에서 또 만나겠습니다. Thank you.